Today, Governor Phil Scott is visiting the Central Vermont Career Center to highlight the work of students who are out helping out their community. It's one of three career and technical education centers in the state that joined a program to repair mobile homes that were damaged last July in the flooding. NBC5 Sid Bule is live in Montpelier tonight with more on the program. Sid. Brian Liz, this program uses state funding in the form of grants to then allow these students to get hands on experience helping repair homes that were damaged by July's historic floods. As Vermonters continue to recover from last summer's historic floods, housing is at the front and center, especially for mobile homeowners. We provided state money to get them up to their full FEMA amount. In total, we distributed $670,000 to 31 homeowners. Other homes were salvaged, including four that were sent to career and technical education centers for students to repair, like this home, which came to Barry from Johnson. It was definitely a different experience from all our shop work because everything we do in the shop is new built and we don't have any unexpected surprises come up with mold that was hidden behind drywall and other hidden objects before we start digging into the project. So that was definitely something different we don't learn in the classroom. Students spent the spring demolishing and repairing the house, and now it's up for auction until July 15th. Once these units are complete, they'll leave the CTE centers as a healthy home for someone to live in, in much better shape than when they arrived. With the school year coming to a close, the construction work is too. The home is being sold as is. We hope to recoup the gear grant provided by the state and perhaps some of the additional costs of the project that CBCC uncovered. And hopefully inspiring more to enter the trades and build in their communities. I hope you've learned a lot from this and more than just the day-to-day -day work on the home itself, but the feeling that comes along with seeing a project through from start to finish or almost finish and knowing the work you've done here will benefit your community. The home that's featured in this story is now available for auction. You can place a bid. Now more information on how to place that bid can be found on our website, mynbc5.com, and those are being accepted until July 15th. Live in Montpelier, Sid Buley, NBC5 News.